Today, I'm going to show you guys what it's like to be at the barbershop on a Friday. Every morning, as I walk towards my car, I pray to the man upstairs. I pray that he blesses my hands with talent. And because it's Friday, speed and accuracy. As I approach the shop, a feeling of gratitude prevails. Upon entering, I can see that the guys are already there, along with some of the clients. I always make sure to salute everyone as I walk in. That's Franco faded it. That's a customer. That's Burt Wildstyle wrist check on that watch. And another client. And another client. As a barber, it's extremely important to be courteous and polite with everybody in the shop. It brings a pleasant vibe to the whole joint. Today, things started off at a quick pace. Everybody's busy, everybody's cutting hair. Even me. The first haircut of the day for me is just a haircut. And that's just the way I like to begin my days. Haircut and beard combos that usually take a while. I prefer to do those in the middle of the day. You know, when I'm warmed up. Anyway, the music is blasting and I'm already in the pocket. I'm in the zone, imagining myself in a video or a hair show. I'm weird with that. And these tools, they're all by caliber. I got about 17 different machines here and all of them have different personalities. I left a link in the description of this video where you can find all of these machines. Just make sure you use my discount code 555. All right, so here's what's happening. Russia invades Ukraine, gas prices are sky high, and it's affecting business. It's tax season here. People have money, but they're spending it all at the pump. Every now and then, we get a customer with hair like this. Us barbers, we love it. Because no matter what kind of haircut the guy gets, it's going to be fire. Loud colors always make for great content. As a barber, you want to make sure you get all the pictures taken, all the photos, all the content, all the quality material you're going to need to market yourself on social media. Can a barber build a clientele without social media? Of course, but social media cuts that work down in half. On planet Earth, like attracts like. My barbers are young, and Elizabeth is the city of young people. So most of the new customers, when they walk in, go straight to them. And where does that leave me? Like this. With nothing to do. So what do I do when I have nothing to do? I make content. In barbering, it's important not to freak out whenever you're in a situation like this. Just be cool. Use your time wisely. Whatever you don't make today, you'll make tomorrow. And make no mistake, the hardest thing a barber will ever have to do in his career is be without clients. The waiting game. The ultimate kryptonite for barbers. The waiting game makes barbers quit. It makes barbers reconsider their career choice. It makes barbers want to go home. It makes barbers actually want to move away sometimes. And in worst cases, it's even caused barbers to fall into drug addiction. The barbershop business is unique. It only has two speeds. You're either completely dead or running around like a chicken with his head cut off. It's always one of the two extremes. Never in the middle. There's never a medium. 555, how can I help you? Yeah. Come, come down right now. Come down right now. I'm available right now. I'm not doing anything. I'm right here. All right. Guy wants to come down at 3.30. Everybody wants to come down at 3.30. 3.30. Everybody. 3.30. And that's just one of the many phone calls I got. No matter how many times I try to advise my clients, they always choose the same time everyone else chooses. It's a phenomenon I've never been able to explain. And it happens every single time of every single day of my career. This will never change. So getting used to it early on in your career is best. So now 3.30 is here. And suddenly I got what? All these guys? That, ladies and gentlemen, is the life of a barber. Now, I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. Why doesn't he work by appointment? Taking walk-ins allows us to serve more clients at a time, instead of having one barber in the shop with all the customers. The walk-in system allows the entire team to grow. With appointments, only one barber eats, and all the barbers in the shop become selfish. In contrast with walk-ins, everybody eats, and we all become like family. At 555, we share the wealth, and customers dig it. The walk-in system we've developed at 555 is so strong that we can build careers for new barbers from scratch. And as opposed to being confined to time slots, the walk-in system allows us to either slow down or pick up the pace as needed. So 
So that's it. The day's come to a close, and it's time to go home. And even with the gas prices affecting the economy, the day turned out to be kind of decent. And of course, tomorrow's another day. But for now, it's time for some rest and relaxation. If you enjoyed this video, press like and then subscribe. Also, if you're interested in learning more about my ideas, check out my book, How to Become a Six-Figure Barber. I'll leave the link in the description. See you guys later.